Look how cute my little fox is. Look he, he's just lying there. Sometimes I don't know what to say. Okay, I know it's a really bad song, but it's kind of like the only way to say this. I just took a DNA test and this is how I did it. Oh yeah, some cool stuff there. Ancestry DNA. Ah. Welcome to Ancestry DNA. Step one, insert capped tube into bag. Step two, seal the collection bag. Oh, this is the collection bag. Put bag into return mailer. Oh, return mailer, it. It was these three things. Collection bag, the spit, spitty McSpitterson thing. Where are the ins Oh, oh, haha. <laughs> okay, for instructions, please follow instructions carefully and keep this instruction card with your important documents. Do not eat, drink, smoke, or chew gum for 30 minutes before giving your saliva sample. Can I drink water? Oh, it says don't drink. <laughs> I just drank water like 10 minutes ago. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. And then I just follow the directions and spit up to the line. I'm sure you're not interested in hearing what that sounded like, so I'll fast forward for you. So I've sealed off the sample. Your test will be complete six to eight weeks from the time we receive your sample. So. See ya in six to eight weeks. Four to six weeks later. So, you like my shirt? Look, baseball. I love baseball and jazz. So the results from my test came in a lot sooner than expected. It only took about four weeks and I'm gonna share those results now. I got them on my phone. I'll screen record so that way you can see kind of like the map thing that they give. So I am mostly Native American. No surprise there. 41% Native American, um, mostly from Nuevo Leon, Northeastern Mexico and South Texas, Eastern Jalisco, Aguascalientes. That's no big surprise. I have family still in Aguascalientes. Um, I think my grandfather still lives in Aguascalientes from my mother's side and my grandmother and uh, my grandfather and my father were all born, uh, oh no, maybe not my grandfather, but my grandmother and my father were born in Texas. I am also, no surprise, from Spain. It says here 33 to 36% Spaniard. Okay, this one like was pretty crazy it was one of the ones where i was like wait what not so much i really wanted to have it but it was more like the amount so i am zero to ten percent french like from france that like totally blew my mind i don't know I remember stories of my grandmother saying someone in her family was from France, but I can't, I don't, I don't know. I didn't really realize it was going to be that much of an am amount. So that's pretty cool. Woo, French. Les poissons, les poissons. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm also 0 to 4% Welsh. I have to look up again why it says 0 to 4%. I can't remember. I remember I looked it up one time, like how DNA tests are actually um, calculated. Portuguese, 2%. Basque, 2%. Italian, 1%. Cameroon, Congo, and Southern Bantu peoples, 1%. I think that means I'm a little bit black. 
and everybody knows that. So now I just have proof. Middle Eastern 1%. I figured I had some kind of Middle East Eastern in me because I've always been mistaken for Middle Eastern. Um, like at the airports, you know, your girl's the one that's gonna get random security checks. So that, I was like, yeah, this gotta be something. And then this one was a surprise. I was like, what? Northern Jewish. Apparently I am zero to, it says 1% here, but also zero to 4% European Jewish. That is completely random and so totally a surprise. I was kind of hoping I was Jewish. God's people in both ways. <laughs> Uh, anyway, and then 1% Northern African. It says here, Morocco, Western Sahara, Algeria kind of area. That makes sense to me. Got some Moroccan in there. The biggest surprise was the amount of French that I have because that's not like a zero to four thing. That wasn't like a 1% thing. That's like 10% French. And that's like a significant amount that I could be French. Um, also surprising was that tiny, tiny piece of Jewish. Ancestry DNA has this way where you can like look up people that you're related to they let you see like people who are who are matching in your kind of like your dna um, matches like you can even look into those matches and see if there's somebody there that like if they're second cousin so i've got like several second cousins here all in all it was a very enlightening experience so that completes number two of 30 things. I am down to 28 things. Yay! I feel like highly motivated. I feel like, okay, I'm getting the ball rolling here. Things are happening. So stay tuned and um, we'll see what else, what else I'm able to accomplish. Live long and prosper. I'm a nerd.